I'm Ben. I'm sorry. If you would like to get your song reviewed, dear listener, there's the filthy capitalist option. It's sorry says. 125 gets you straight to the head of the line. You don't have to be a part of Alliance. You don't have to be part of the group. Wait a minute. And the biggest thing is you don't have to wait. You hop, skip, and jump right in front of everybody. 125 gets you there. You do that three times, and then get matched down to the $75 rate for perpetuity. Yes! Also, there is a band review option. <laughs> so if you've got a band and you're trying to get your band some exposure, hit me up at sorry at gmail.com, and I'll show you the details about how to pull you that off. You can also jump on Patreon, and there is a option on the tiers to be able to get your band reviewed. Yep. Obviously, we can't lie to you. So we can't guarantee, can't guarantee a positive you review. A positive review. <laughs> get what you get. It's just rubbish. 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 That's British for garbage. Ah! My favorite is the community option. One dollar at the gate gets you in a Patreon. You get to join an alliance. The alliance joins their points together, and that helps determine what songs that we do. <laughs> the alliances hang out on Discord. Shh. Message me on Patreon to get the link. And they do all kinds of other cool things. They do Minecraft. What? Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah. It's really a community within the community. Anybody can go on the village, facebook.com backslash Finn and Sorry. There's 160 plus thousand people on the channel. What's cool about the Discord is that it offers a real opportunity for community connection, friendship, that type of thing. But, and it's on Discord, so if you're not a Facebook person, it's for you. You start off at a dollar. Right. Plus you get exclusives. Sorry and I are working on a song. So the first 15 seconds of that was on Patreon. Also, at $15 here and above, when we actually debut the video, they're going to be there live with us. There you are, dear listener. Buy our merch. How much you need? The child shall eat them. <laughs> to buy our merch. Uh, oh, it always feels like it takes forever for you to say those lines. I'm like, hurry up so I can say my part. This isn't our merch. This is the Proto Men's merch. They've got a song called The Sons of Fate. Yep, which is the next one on our list. Again, as we said before, we are doing a DJ stream with Big Homie River, yes, who has Sarif picked Bob. all of these songs that are that are going on tonight. We're doing the entire album, uh, which has been very fun so far. Next song up is The Sons of Fate. Yes. So this is Mega Man and his brother Proto Man, who are now in a locked in an eternal struggle. They've got to fight each other. Some Cain and Abel energy. Very, very interesting. Uh, my money's on uh, Mega Man. Let's do it. Children. Children. 
Good lord. I can't believe there's another song after that. Yeah. So. Yikes. So it ends in a giant bloodbath and it appears <laughs> Wiley keeps winning. I know. Jeez, um. <laughs> so Proto Man gets killed Ki finally and ultimately. And what's interesting is that Proto Man's philosophy is the same as his father's philosophy. Yeah. But that drives him to start working for Wiley. See what I'm saying? Like, why is he? What working? do you mean? What about his father's philosophy drove him to do that? He says these people are beyond hope. You can't help them. You know, he's basically parroting what his dad was saying. Even now there... No, even now there is hope for man. No, that's what Mega Man Mega Man saying. says that, and then Protoman says, my father's words. Yeah, but he's saying that was, that was his father's words before yeah. he died. He doesn't realize that after he died that his father then took on a cynical perspective on humanity. Because he is now saying the things that, that Proto Man was saying about humanity is the same thing that the father was saying about humanity after he died, which is these people are beyond hope, they're beyond help. And so it's it's like, well, what's the real difference then between Wiley and Light if uh, the L Wiley's greatest soldier is now parroting what Light has been saying after he got disillusioned is, is the point. It's kind of a complex thing, but it goes yeah. back to a couple songs earlier where Mega Man is saying, you're just as bad as, the, as these people if you say that about them. If you give up, you're just as... And it's true. Like, if you ultimately... I mean, that's one of the reasons I'm a post-millennialist. If, if you ultimately give up on humanity, give up, give up on the project, yep. then you end up descending into this sort of nihilistic sort of, uh, you know, mindset that mm -hmm. would stand by and watch all those people get slaughtered and all the rest of it. Because if there's nothing redeemable about man, then forget it. Mm -hmm. Which is one of the reasons that I say, like, a lot of people be like, oh, the concept of original sin is destructive. But the more and more I think about it, the more and more I'm like, I don't think so. <laughs> I think it's very, very helpful because that helps. Yeah protect you it gives you a little From getting bit of disillusioned a philosophical cushion against disillusionment with the mm -hmm. human condition mm -hmm. because you ought to expect human beings to do what's the most comfortable you ought to expect them to trade security for freedom etc yep. etc et yep um that's what you should expect to see but what you can draw from outside of that is they're still in the image of god though and as long as they're in the image of God, then there's there's hope. There's, so you yeah. have a cushion against like, you know, ultimate human cynicism. But then at the same time, you have a sort of propeller that, if you believe, hey, these people are still image bearers of God, that there is still hope. Yes. But yes. but but if you don't if you don't have those concepts in tension, then I think forget about it. Forget about it. Mm -hmm. Um. And, and these, none of these are really simple concepts. For example, the concept of freedom. What does freedom mean? Does freedom mean doing whatever you want? Is that what freedom means? No. Because if that's what freedom is, then uh, you, make, you make freedom for everybody impossible. So in other words, mm -hmm. okay, if I define freedom as doing whatever I want, I'm a strong person, so that means that I can do whatever I want to whoever is weaker than me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then you go, no, 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 your freedom stops when it re restricts another person's freedom. That's fine, but what th what you've just done is you've introduced some sort of restriction of freedom in the service of freedom, because at that point you're doing a numbers game. You're saying your freedom strong person let's say strong people are two percent of the population you should not be able to restrict the 98 percent's freedom mm -hmm. okay but then you were to flip it and you say yeah but what if the 98 percent got together and said our definition of freedom is doing whatever it wants to the two percent well then you have to slide back and say well your freedom mr 98 percent goes only as far as it restricts the other people's freedom even though they're only two percent of the population so if there's 200 of us, 
We're supposed to stop what we want to do for the sake of four people? You see how complicated yeah. that is? Oh, yeah, yeah. It, 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 none of these... None of these things are are simple, uh, simple at all. And when you think about, for, it, it's kind of the same thing with the Matrix, right? Where he's fighting. I, I haven't seen the fourth Matrix yet, but he's fighting back and forth with Smith. And there's like an infinite number of Smiths that that Neo has to yes. fight. And he's like, Mister Anderson, why do you keep doing it? There's no way you can win, Mister Anderson. And then in in this pinnacle of this sort of I like, what he says, A and Randy and orgasm of human uh will he says because i choose to oh right right ah! right <laughs> you know and it was sort of like the exaltation of the human will mm-hmm. over everything mm-hmm. and it was this joyous moment um like defining freedom is a very very difficult thing to do i mean i i have defined freedom as living to the 100 percent potential of the way that god created you to live that's what freedom is. And so that already has with it the preconditions and the pre-restrictions that are, you, that are inherent You to people that. that are listening, put in the comment section what you guys think um, freedom is. Because I'm curious to see what how other people would define it. But I agree. It, it, comes to, it, it complicates itself if you don't take the simplest. Yeah, like a, a bird is freest when it's flying. I, I was doing the Ask Me Anything you know, yeah, yesterday or earlier <laughs> yep. today, depending on how you want to look at right. it. And I was talking about how there would be no sin in the new world and all the rest of it. And a person said, okay, so I'm no longer going to be myself. And I said, well, no, you'd be yourself for the first time ever in your life. Mm-hmm. Because sin, you know, we were all eagles and sin clipped our wings. Now, even with clipped wings, you're still a glorious beast. Mm-hmm. But... In the new world, you're finally going to be given your your wings back as the eagle, and you're able to, you know, you're not truly free until you're you're flying. Mm-hmm. And so, that's the closest I could come to not just something consistent with the biblical worldview. It's just it, it it's just consistent with itself. Period. Mm-hmm. And it, it it dodges all of the the uh, complexities of trying to define what freedom actually is. Is freedom rebelling against the government? Well, sometimes, I guess. Depends, yeah. But the government sets a speed limit. They tell you how much pressure you can use to depress onto the gas pedal. But they're doing that so that you can have the freedom to go home to your family at night. Mm -hmm. So, like, in this world, there have to be restrictions of lesser freedoms for the sake of greater freedoms. Yeah. And you have to do the arithmetic and say to yourself, what is a greater freedom? And so you restrict lesser freedoms in the service of greater freedoms. So if you're in a car, the greater freedom is me getting home to my family and you getting home to my family, Mm -hmm. to your family. Mm -hmm. And that is not always the social contract that we follow through on because that's why we have highway patrolmen. So... I just say it's just a really, really, really interesting, you know, concept where Proto Man and the dad, and I guess Wiley to it. No, no, Wiley is a different guy. We'll talk about it in a second. But Proto Man and the dad resent humanity for not prioritizing freedom over their lives. So, did the father know that Proto Man was alive? Uh. Well, he didn't seem shocked by no, it. No, and he looked to the ground. He didn't seem shocked by it. Um, so, I don't know. But, I mean, at least at that point he did. But but what, what do you think about that? Resenting people for not prioritizing freedom over their lives. I mean, isn't that a free choice in itself? Yeah. They're making a conscious choice. They're yeah. saying, I like life. More than freedom. Can they be free to make that choice? Yeah, he said in one of, the, I think, a couple songs ago where he was saying, is there anybody that'd be willing to choose, like, where courage would be more important than life itself? Right. Right. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That That's, that's exactly my point. Like, why is courage more of a value than life? And why are you defining that as freedom? What if those people decide 
Well, no, freedom is actually living life. So I will choose cowardice so that I can have the ultimate freedom, which is to be alive. Because if I'm dead, I can't make any choices. Mm -hmm. Because the least free people, at least in, in this universe, the universe of the least free people are dead people, right? And then, and then Maybe. it says, and then it says, you chose. Here, here's the other thing that that that, that that's really interesting to me. He, he's saying, is there anybody that will choose courage over living? But they were living in such a police state or a police oh, global, yeah, yeah, global police state that is that living. The very fact that they went out there to watch the contest between Proto Man and Mega Man was enough. To get them all to slaughtered. get them all slaughtered. Yeah. So the little, so they actually did choose freedom over their lives or or courage over their lives because they defied Doctor Wiley to the point where Doctor Wiley was like, "You got to die. You all got to die," and he blasted them all into eternity. So. But then they started saying, "We are the dead," because they recognized that they were they were not living before either. And now they're getting killed, and they're still not living. Like, either way. Right. At the end of the song, it, it went right back to the beginning, which is, to your point, we are the dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which which is, I understand the... the like a sort of zombie. The message here, the messaging is, if you submit to the government to that degree, then you might as well be dead. I mean, because cause yeah. you're, not, cause you're not living. Yeah. Um, and I, I think that that's probably, I don't know how true I think that is. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure. I, I know I know what my disposition is. My disposition is, like, yeah, you know, live free or die, yada, 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 yada. Um, but I'm not sure that that's probably that, that, how true that is. Because, again, the government at some level is restricting everything that we do. I mean, it's. That's one of the primary functions of government is, yeah. is restriction of of freedom, and and I'm I'm happy. There's a lot of people in the downtown area that if they had complete carte blanche freedom, forget about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I yeah I hear you. And you know where do we get this? Here here's another question. There's a lot of things that happen in in American and Western culture that that are almost axiomatic but never get on they they almost go universally unchallenged why should we be free and why do you have the quote unquote what, right desire to be, to be free no, no no you have the desire to be free fine but why should that desire be honored why should you be free and why should any government um who has the majority of resources and capital and firepower why should they honor your request for freedom because I have the right to. From whence came these rights? Most secularists believe that rights get, get handed down by the government. Mm -hmm. So why should you be, quote, free in the yeah. first place? So if you can't even define or you can't even explain why you... Sh if you can't explain freedom and you can't explain why you specifically should be free, then why should you die for those two premises if, you, if they're so murky? You see what I'm saying? Like, kind of. So, why should you be free? Oh, because I want to. So, Orion wants to stay up till twelve, three o'clock in the morning. He doesn't mm -hmm. get to. Mm -hmm. You know, we restrict his freedom all mm -hmm. the time, and everybody seems to be okay with that. Nobody says, "Hey, why are you restricting that kid's freedom? Why don't you let him have candy for breakfast, lunch, and dinner?" Yeah, I mean, I see where you're coming from. As far as like from a Christian worldview, we could have an answer for that. For freedom, Christ has set you free. You know what I mean? Like, we're supposed to be a free people. Right, to not let anybody put you on any of slavery, right? Right. Yeah. But, yeah, from other worldviews, we're, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where it would come from. I don't know where they would say that, you know, you should be free because of what? Why? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. yeah it, it's a very uh, interesting, interesting concept. The concept of freedom. Like, I understand the social contract aspect of it, but none of us has fulfilled the social contracts. You know, basically, it's sort of like this tacit, unspoken agreement in society. Yeah. It's like, we're working together for each for each other's beneficial common good because I win when you win and vice versa. Mm -hmm. But technology has made it so that that's not always the case. Mm -hmm. There's lots of times when, especially in the capitalist seats in Laban, where it's like, 
I win when you lose. <laughs> so the social contract is, I'm going to create superstructures that always give us the same result, which is I win and you lose. Yeah. So if we didn't have child labor laws, for example, that's a perfect example. So I listen to these hardcore libertarians and they're like, oh, we believe in economic freedom, which means no minimum wage. So let the, let the free market do its thing. And that's what they're calling freedom. Oh, God. So, so if there's no minimum wage and there is no uh, child labor laws, then you've got all these breaker boys working in these mines for 12, 15 hours a day for four cents a day, which makes it impossible for them to go to school mm -hmm. because they have to take care of their families. And guess what's going to happen when they have kids? Those kids are going to be another group of breaker boys. And it's going to be a cycle forever and ever. But... If I'm a capitalist who's on the top of that little hierarchy, I'm going to say that's economic freedom. If you're at the bottom, that's economic slavery. But you chose it. Mm -hmm. Because you could say, nah, screw my family. Let them start to death. I'm going to go to school. So it, it's, it's a very complex idea, this concept of freedom. Yeah. It's, it's really, really, really. Have really you had conversations with people outside of this? To hear what people, like, where do people come up with? Uh, I asked a question, and uh, it doesn't really get answered very well. And I, I'll, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll grant this. It doesn't get granted well because it's usually an, an atheist who, and I'm not saying this about all atheists. I'm just saying this is what happens. It's usually an atheist who hasn't had the opportunity to be challenged on that particular topic because... Mm -hmm. Freedom is just so, and rights are just something that's taken axiomatically, and people don't, you know, like basically self evident. Mm -hmm. And people don't challenge it, and so they don't have a lot of time to actually think through, well, why, 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 why? See what I'm saying? Um, but I was actually shocked at the way they ended this record because, again, well, no, it's not done yet. I mean, there's there, one yeah, more, there, there's one more song, it's the epilogue, I'm assuming, but. Unless the kid, he, he unless died. The kid yeah, rises know, from the dead or some shit like that, I don't know. It looks, it looks like it's. Can you be... imagine what a horrible, like, emotional roller coaster that would be? Though, you mm -hmm. think you're going out to fight for the honor of your whoever? You know, this one's it's his brother, and then he gets out there, and it turns out his brother's alive. He'd been grieving the death of his brother. Now his brother's alive, but he's got he's alive just long enough for him to kill him. Yeah, I know. Uh... I know. I know craziness uh, uh this one's a 9.9 .9 for me i really liked it yeah this was the strongest song on the record in my mind 9.9 .9 as well fully fully enjoyed it unfortunately we got only one more song left from uh the band protoman yeah here. well i don't know i think that the last song that he picked is also from is it, but it's is just it not that Pro album well, it's yeah featuring the protoman but it's not <clears throat> um having said that dear listener then out sorry out gone